Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from Air Venture 2017 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Behind me is the Cub Crafters X Cub, and that's best thought of as the ultimate state of the art evolution of the original J3 Cub, and it's way faster than the original J3 ever thought of being. Here at the show, Cub Crafters has announced they're going to be installing the Garmin G3X Touch in this airplane. The X Cub is still VFR only day and night. And the G3X Touch is really a high level of sophistication, almost approaching IFR capability. So why do that? Well, we did this because it, it just provides an unbelievable uh, feature set for the pilot. It makes the pilot safer. So in the final analysis, it's just an incredible value. I believe it really raises the bar in what a customer can get for their dollar in general aviation now. When you actually fly with this stuff, there's so much functionality there that improves your situational awareness, that the safety factor goes way up. And it's uh, frankly, it's just a joy to fly behind too. Standard uh, X-Cub panel has a Garmin 796 in it, has steam gauges for pitot static, and then a, a nice uh, Electronics International engine monitor. And that's a nice panel, but it still doesn't have the functionality of this. Also, the ease of using it, the interface, is very intuitive, very natural. Allows the pilot to focus his attention on where we should be and improves my awareness of my engine, of my navigation. On EFASs like this, we have real-time true airspeed. I can look at my ground speed, know at a, in a glance what my wind is doing. Uh, again, just a very uh, enhances safety and, and uh, improves the experience. The user interface, it's very intuitive, and I like having the extra data. Again, to me, as I've flown these, and again, I've, we've been flying this since 2014 when we introduced it in the Carbon Cub. Real-time true airspeed is really important for knowing uh, wind, power settings, things like that. Very intuitive uh, set of uh, engine monitors. And then, of course, a fuel computer. I think all pilots should have fuel computers. How, how many fuel exhaustion accidents do we have? When we launched X-Cub last year in June, we launched it with a, a nicely equipped panel, but not an EFAS. And we had a fair number of customers say, call me when you have glass. Well, we're going to be calling them now. Again, there's a level of functionality that they're used to in their uh, perhaps their larger airplanes or even in smaller planes uh, that we're now going to be able to offer. And again, I can't emphasize the value equation enough. This is going to be a $20,000 option, another seven for the autopilot on a certified plane like this. I just, I'm just very excited about the value.